Today, I'm going to show you how to use stable diffusion to generate images that do not exist, and you give them a text prompt to generate some new image. It's really, really cool, and this one anyone can use for free on Colab. Now, I don't take credit for anything in this notebook. In fact, this is literally just taken from the stable diffusion folks, so give them all of the credit for anything here. I am just showing you how to use it because it's pretty much just you run this notebook in Colab, but there is a tiny little bit that maybe you might get stuck on. So the link is in the description for this Colab. You can just go and click on that in on your computer and then walk through with this with me. So you go to runtime, you should be in Colab, go to runtime and then change runtime to make sure it is a GPU. Uh, it is okay if you don't have Colab Pro Plus, it's actually going to work with the free version, version just fine. And that is what I am running here. So going through this, basically we run this cell and you shouldn't have to write any of this code because you should have uh, followed the link to get exactly this notebook here. We run this code, which basically just says what GPU you're running. It's pretty much always a Tesla T4 if you're using free Colab and it will, it will work just fine. We run this to install some libraries and I think I've already ran them, so it's not gonna take very long, but for you, maybe that takes a little bit longer. Anyways, we run install the libraries, we go down to from google.colab import this blah 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 and from the hugging face import the notebook login and notebook login this is the important part which you might get stuck on basically if you haven't heard of hugging face it is a machine learning website i'm not really going to go much into the details they do a lot with machine learning and machine learning deployment and you need to go to their website and create an account and you also need to go into your email that was sent to you and then you can go and like basically say that you have uh, authorized your account or whatever through the email and then you need to go in here uh, to settings you go in the top right here go to settings and then access tokens and then you need to create one you won't see this here this is because i already made it and i'm not going to show you what the token is uh, but you need to copy that token after you've created it which it says nothing more than basically you have a hugging face account and you can you can use it. So we go and put that token in there and log in and it should say login successful. Again, if that didn't work, then make sure you have an account, make sure you go to your email and actually um, authorize or do that second check through the email thing. Okay, so here is where we actually get the model. And so we're just going to run that. When you run that, it is going to tell you that you don't have access to the model. And so you need to go in here to the error and just right click, open a new tab, go over there in your Hugging Face account, make sure you're signed into it here. And then you just need to accept the terms. Make sure, as I said at the beginning of the video, make sure that you read the license and you're aware of everything you can do with this model. It's very, very, very important. Access repository, it should now have you accepted in there. You can close that. And then if you were to run this again, then it should now say that, well, you're okay to do it, and it's just going to start downloading it. And note here, if you read it, basically what they say is that they're changing this to uh, floating point 16, and same thing over here, so that it can run on a free collab. They literally say that so they can ensure every free collab can run it. And so don't change anything there because they have it already set up so that you can you can use it. Okay, uh, if you do have an awesome GPU setup of your own, there's nothing stopping you from doing file, download, IPython notebook, uh, running it in your own setup. Okay, after all that, it should for some reason say trained betas was not found in config, they're initialized to default values. Don't worry about that. It kind of sounds like it's not trained or whatever, but I promise you it'll still work. So if we do pipe here, that's just really the, the pipeline or for using the model, and so pipe.2, it just means moving it to the GPU or to CUDA. And here we can actually run it. And all you need to do to generate whatever image you want is to change this text. And so I'm going to make it, uh, hello, hello, I am a man with a mustache and glasses in a bar. Let's just say that. Okay, I'm doing something kind of funny. If you want to uh, if you want to save an image, then you can do it like that. And I guess it will, but I, I'm not really going to worry about what it's doing there. I'm just trying to show you how to create one. Uh, you can see it does take a little bit of time. It's PyTorch, so they have this uh, this loading bar here. And it's actually 
pretty fast for generating a, I think this is a 512 by 512 resolution image by default. Um, it's actually pretty fast and you'll see, I'm guessing, I haven't done this before, but it's pretty good. This does not exist before, this person does not exist. You can tell because their eyeballs are, I mean, I, I'm not here to judge, but not not the best looking eyeballs in my opinion. Um, there's clearly, you know, clearly in a bar, there's some drinks back there. He's sitting on something. He has a mustache, a very interesting one. Um, he's got glasses and he's in a bar. So looks good to me. Uh, if you want, you can go further down and kind of see the other things that they're doing. Uh, in particular, this one, number of inference steps, you can make that slower or, or faster with the obvious, uh, obvious trade-off of this person's accuracy. <laughs> this astronaut's accuracy is not great. Um, we also have, uh, you could do multiple images. This guy's really funny. It's like a monkey face and it's supposed to be just a normal person. <laughs> I, re I really like that one. Um, and yeah, there's like also other sort of grids. And so every time you run the model, it will make something different, even though it, it should be all in the same sort of idea. Okay, uh, you're you're about to play with that if you want. Actually, one sorry, one more thing is that um, yeah, by default it produces images of five twelve by five twelve. Uh, one thing, especially if you're someone like me that makes YouTube videos, you'll probably be like, well, "How can I make nineteen twenty by ten eighty images?" Well, you actually can't if you tried to do this over here. Uh, I promise you, this this should be ten eighty, and this should be nineteen twenty. If we do run that, it is going to say queued out of memory tried to allocate 32 gigs pretty much um, and so even I've tried this on Colab plus and even on Colab plus uh, it's still not going to work even with their reduced capacity uh, for the floating point precision again if you had your own GPU setup or a cluster of GPU setup you could probably get this to work but um, for now stick with uh, one of these as 512 with this 512 and then the height uh, something a little bit more than that or just square images as 512 by 512. I hope that was helpful. Again, I take no credit for uh, the production of this model, for the awesome notebook that they've created, for the Hugging Face stuff. I do not take credit for any of that, and I will make sure I put that in the description as well. They deserve all of the awesome credit for what this is, but I hope that you can now use it if you didn't know how to use it before, and uh, drop a like on the video if this was helpful. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.